how we doing today? Just a real quick tutorial on how I make my garbage mat videos. So first thing you want to have is your Adobe Elements Premiere 13. You can open that up. It takes a couple of seconds for it to open up. Once it's open, let's see, probably could speed this up a bit. All right. Once you have your Adobe Elements open, you take your video. Now, the way I film my video, um, you might do something different, but the way I do my video is I do everything uh, in one take, and then I split it in the editor. Now, I originally um, filmed this with separate audio. I used my H4N Zoom to uh, record the audio, but I also took a sample clip, a little easier to sync. But as you can see, here I am on the left side of the screen, but then I'll walk backwards, see, comes across, so essentially, let's see, I sync my audio, Boop. there I am sitting. So you can see, I do one side of the entire dialogue um, sitting there. It takes uh, some thought and a little bit of scripting to get the timing right. Uh, you're going to need to do countdowns and know how long it takes to say different Turn things. Turn down, man. What are you doing? Kind of know what you want to do beforehand. Gracious. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to skim and you want to find the center point. What I generally do is I'll go to my enter point and let's back it up a little bit. All right. Just to when I come around the corner, should be about right. Now, okay, I skim myself back. That's usually where I'll start to count. But anyway, I split my clip. Now you're going to want to take your first clip and put it in video two and what's going to be your background clip you're going to keep in video slot one so we'll run it forward we want to get rid of me uh, clapping and just get me sitting in the chair so let's find out where that all occurs let's see all right that's me just sitting down I'll wait till I get all situated here and it should be about right there. All right. So once I'm situated, I'll take that and split that out of there. Delete it. All right. And I'll move my video forward. So we're not going to be 100% on right here. As you can see, I'm already talking and, and nobody's standing next to me yet. But let's just listen and see. Here I come walking, you can hear me. And I'm sitting down. Alright, so I just turned on a music button. Turn it down, man! All right. What are you doing? So. It's obvious I can't see both screens, so what I want to do is to install my garbage mat, which is what we're all here for to see. So the way I do it is I'll grab the effect. First of all, let's open this up so I can see where I'm putting it. I'll grab the effect. You can see right here. These are the ones I use a lot of. Um, here's a 16-point garbage mat. So you grab that, drag it over drop it on to your top clip, not your background clip. So, this is where I want a garbage mat. So let me open this up so I can see really good. Now, you're not going to see your garbage mat uh, buttons until you click on garbage mat. And that will bring up your buttons for you. So what you want to do is you want to try and follow as many straight lines as you possibly can. 
that's going to save you a lot of trouble. So I'll generally try to run the roof line if I can. Try to run it along the areas of the roof. And let's see if we can get that one top right. Let's see. There we go. Get that up higher. All right. That's along that ceiling line. I'll bring that out of frame. I'll bring this one out of frame. This one out of frame. This one I'll bring down. I could probably slide this button down here and get myself an extra bit of uh, turning radius. Oh, let's undo that move. All right. Get myself an extra bit of turning radius. Come down here to about right there. All right. You want to try not to drop them below the screen. It really makes it a pain in the tail to get them up. Uh, this is a, a horrible design as far as that goes. You actually have to hunt around to find some of the uh, vertexes. Which takes a little bit of time. And when I first did it, I had no idea what I was doing. And um, every time I tried to find it, I couldn't. Uh, this is where you guys use a little finesse. I'm using a um, trackpad and... Uh, it's not always so easy to get it laid where you want it. Alright, so you kind of want to get it. See, now this, down here is that one I was telling you about that you can't get to. So we want to try and get that up. There's the rear tangent. Alright, there we go. So let's get that tangent up. Alright. I'm just bringing that tangent up. Then we want to find that center one. Not that one. Uh, let's see. Center tangent. There we go. Center bottom. There it is. And we'll bring that guy up. All right. Now we can see it. Now it's usable. And you just want to try to use the straight lines that are available to you. Alright, so you can take that one and put it up here. Let's drag this straight over. We're going to use the arm of this chair as a, uh, as a reference. And that'll save us in case we move our arm a little bit. Now you can use the buttons to move this, which might not be a bad idea at this point because it's just being a pain in the tail. All right, all right. So then we'll take this one. We'll just bring that there. All right. Now I'm cutting across here a little bit, but it won't be that bad. To hard to bad to see it. I could have gone along my body line. I do have 16 points here, or I could have actually gone with the lesser 18 points, or 8 points. But this just gives you a little more flexibility. A lot of times I'll come around the body, but you never know how much moving you're going to do. And uh, when, you're, when you're moving around, it really makes it look terrible if you come into the... Uh, garbage mat. So, anyway, let's get this one down first uh, uh, so we can grab it. Alright, we can grab it. Let's move it here. Let's move this one here. And let's move this one here. Alright. That's not awesome by any means. Just doing a little quick and dirty so you get the picture. So there you go. So now we can rewind our video and see, we can see our timing's way off. Here I come walking in. 
you can see around the edge right here where I need to do a little work. All right, that's where I turn the music on. Now I should have jumped at that point. Turn it down, man. All right. So what we want to do is we want to put a key frame on that point where I'm supposed to jump. And you can see, there it is. You can hear me hitting the button. All right, so after I hit the button, is where music's going to come in. So you want to add your music. Let's just grab this one because it doesn't really matter which one it is. Uh, we don't care about any of that. Let's spread out our video a little bit more. Let's open this up so we can see. All right. So what it should happen here is when I hit that button, you get that music. Now, okay, you see that jump? That jump needs to be lined up. You can see, you gotta be patient. If you're not a patient person, this is a tough job. So you want to chuck some keyframes in there. Right there. And we know that I wanted to him to jump right there. So we got to make this space up right here. So seeing as we don't start looking at the... Uh, other person until that happens that leaves us some room to to chop some of the video out so let's go ahead and slide on over here and let's just chop this right here let's get rid of it and we'll delete and we'll see if we can line up these keyframes all right so we can see we're a little past and get them keyframes lined up. Uh, it's being a pain in the tail. Like I said, patience is a virtue when it comes to this kind of editing. Especially when you're not good at it, I'm super good at it. And I don't know a lot of the shortcuts and things. I'm sure there's plenty of shortcuts out there. So I've got my keyframes lined up. So I'm just going to limit that down a little bit. Now we can give ourselves back some video. That's why I said it didn't matter where we chopped it. Now you can see, let's bring this down so you can see what we're doing here. All right. So we can listen to and see how it sounds. So here I come chugging in. I'm going to sit down. And hit the button. Yeah. See, see how I lined up the um, the jump with the sound of the radio. Now I'm gonna hit the button and turn it off, and we'll have to drop in a couple more keyframes for that audio. So let's go ahead and let that run. All right, you can see this is where I hit the button. All right, you can kind of see my little tag where I hit the button right here. All right, so let's go ahead and open that up just a little bit. All right, so that's where I hit the button. So let's go ahead and open up this audio. And we're going to drop a keyframe in right here. So let's select it, drop a keyframe, move one frame, and drop another keyframe. 
So we're going to take that down right there to zero because that's where I shut the uh, sound off. So it should do something like this. Walk in, hit the button. So, so there you go. That's the basics on lining your video up. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done. Um, and actually, I have a, uh, a finished product of it. So I'll go ahead and open that up and show you. So you can see what the finished product looks like. So you can't even really see where I cut across there. See how I cut the leaf off a little bit there? But with the crop lines in here, you don't see any mess at the bottom. So, anyway, it's pretty easy to create. It takes a little thought. It takes a little thought in how you're going to create it, but uh, all in all, it's pretty easy. Um, and for this crop here, I probably didn't need the 16 point. Uh, I probably could have gone with the 8. Uh, but I grabbed the 16 because, like I said, I usually try to hug the body around my area. But you will notice uh, that you have a discoloration. So if I just hugged around my body like this, I would have a brighter area around my body and it would be very, very apparent that that was a garbage mat. So again, you want to try and hide that as much as you can in the contrasts of the picture. All right, well that's a quick tutorial on using the garbage mat in Adobe Elements Premiere Elements 13. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer as best as possible. Um, this is my first screen capture tutorial, so please be kind. <laughs> and um, we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.